Hey buddies, it's your girl at Christina and today we are checking out a new Jade Animations video. This is our tour went wrong in all the best ways. I'm excited. I'm super excited. I know she went on tour with a few other animators and I'm excited to see their adventures, see what happened, what crazy things. Cause you know sometimes, sorry let me roll my chair back. You know sometimes some crazy things happen uh, when these creators get together, you know, when they go on tour, or when people get together and go on tour. But we'll see what's in store. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. As some of you might know, James, Dom, Ross, Aaron, and I went on a tour yes, back yes. in October doing a show called Scribble Showdown. Yes. It's the first tour we've all been on besides Baby's Aaron first tour, that's didn't cute. wait for us. The shows were oh, all wow. super Why fun, and we all like enjoyed touring smoker. with each other a lot, and honestly, Seattle. it was the most entertaining thing I've done in a while. But oh, this video cool. isn't about the shows. Okay. It's about the in-betweens. We oh. had to perform in Boston, Brooklyn, Austin, San Francisco, Medford, Seattle, and Portland. All oh, within okay. 11 days. <laughs> so 11 you know days. So those off times are going to get a little hectic yeah. while we're just trying to survive and not mm -hmm. leave our souls behind. Right. The first oh. leg of the tour, we took flights to our destinations. I hope Boston and Brooklyn plane had no out of the ordinary stuff going on besides mm -hmm. the fact Ross, Dom, and I were super addicted to Pokemon Go and we're still oh, while while they're stops playing. left and right together okay. on that grind. Don't worry. It only took two days for peer pressure to crack James down enough to download it and get oh, it really? with us. We arrived That's in Austin funny. on the third. The so this was our first complete. <laughs> <laughs> the way that the freaking plane is landing. <laughs> like that it was, I love that it landed upside down and like scared that guy. Addicted like what? We arrived in Austin on the third <laughs> and this was our first <laughs> completely guy. free day. Ross and Aaron okay. really wanted to get some Texan barbecue. So we all went to dinner at this little barbecue mm. chain they heard was really good. Everyone oh, got their good? food and we're in heaven. What Except happened? for me, because what? vegan check. But honestly, it oh, did look really vegan? good, and I was glad they were enjoying it. Afterwards, Aaron and James wanted to go to a card shop for Magic the Gathering cards since a new pack was coming out. So okay. we headed over there, and one of and the, the employees' names is Jojo. Jojo, and he was a dog, oh, and what? I miss him. The next day, we got okay. into the van to head to the venue, and Ross just goes, So, did anyone else have a rough night last night? Turns oh, out, dear. Ross, Dom, and Aaron all got food poisoning from the barbecue. Oh my James gosh. and I were safe because I didn't eat any, and I don't know, I guess James is a weird. The next yeah. three days we had <laughs> oh, was he in ate San it when he was fine. We were a good five days into traveling, and some of us were running out of clean clothes to wear. Uh, so instead yeah. of finding a laundromat, we headed over to a Target nearby oh, to just, just buy <laughs> new ones. After shopping <laughs> a bit, that. we noticed there was a I huge arcade that. right next door. Oh. So, of course... We went in. To the Aaron arcade, and Dom yes. played some oh, VR, oh. but what caught Ross and James's eyes was, was this big, elaborate VR setup where the players oh, wow. are strapped into these adult that baby walker cool. looking things. I mean, anyone with eyes could tell this thing was jank as hell, but really? that just made it more essential oh, to play. What? Ross asked uh, the guy hold at the on, is it that jank that it would fall over? Because I mean, the setup sounds pretty cool. Like you're in the situation where you're like running. And it's like a treadmill-like-ish type of thing. You're in a place and you're standing and you could shoot things with your teammate on the other side. I think it helps without you bumping into each other, you know? You could play, which the guy said they needed arcade cards to scan. So they went oh, and did that. Okay. And when they came back, the guy was finishing up working at the bumper car booth, looked over at us, and just walked out of the arcade and left. What? Rude. We what? got another person over and Ross and James got okay, set up. That's and good. I think this video explains the whole thing. Oh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. This thing looks so weird. This thing looks so weird. What is happening? After the San Francisco show, happening? we switched over to travel I still by tour it, bus, which we were all super excited for. That's there were good. 12 bunk beds, two lounge areas, oh, wow. a TV where we all played Smash on, okay. and one bathroom. The oh. only main rule was you can't poop on the bus. Okay. I won't get into details, but technically, you can poop on the bus, mm -hmm. but you essentially destroy it from the inside out. Oh, gosh. So no pooping on the bus. Right, right. This is the pinnacle of luxury. Given that Did information, we all bus? got mild poop anxiety. As soon right? as you're told you can't poop within a certain window of time, you're like, it becomes hey. your body's personal goal to aim for those mm -hmm. hours and those hours only. To Luckily, James, poop. Dom, Aaron, and I were okay. Okay, this But way. it hit Ross hard. Maybe oh, it was gosh. the fact he got the worst case of food poisoning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from the, the, us, before. But he couldn't poop if his life depended on it. Oh, goodness. And it kind of did. He went two days without a single poop. Oh, no. And he was scared. Oh, By the time no. we got to Oregon, he was going crazy. Oh, gosh. Guys, I, 
like, I've got to poop today. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, we all checked into in the hotel, hotel rooms. Our yeah. tour manager, Matt, booked for us to shower okay. and finally do laundry and mm -hmm. had a bit of time to spare. So as the friends Is we he are, we decided to dedicate it to trying to help Ross poop. That's Aaron good. shared some That's poop good. exercises he said always helped him. And I pulled up the um, song on YouTube today. my friend showed me that was titled Music That Makes You Poop. And with all really? variables combined, I think it was working. Okay. That's good. This is supposed to make you poop? Ross is really trying to poop right now. You can't poop on the bus, dude. You gotta get, you gotta, you gotta get it out before you can get on the bus. Because, you know, they must have a septic tank to handle the poop. Uh-huh. So you gotta poop before the bus takes off. Because the bus takes off, you gotta wait for the next stop. So I don't wake up in the middle of the night and just the bag and throw it out the window. I don't want to be that guy. I don't right. Want Okay, what is this music? This is supposed to make you poop. After that Does it work? Ordeal, Ross, Dom, James, and I went out to catch some Pokemon. Of Aaron course, stayed in the hilarious. bus to build some magic decks, but the area we were parked in was a bit sketchy. Oh. The laundry room sink in the motel had a marijuana in it. So Ross found a had a marijuana. And That's so cute. Catching a bunch of shroomish. It was well worth it because James, Ross, and I all found shiny what Pokemon at the exact same time. By Aww. the time we got back, James and Aaron were really hungry. Ross, okay. Dom, and I got Taco Bell, but we also all had that this morning, so James wanted to try and find something else something to else. have, mm -hmm. which was a mission failed. So he and Aaron uh, went out to get Taco Bell, but by the time they walked over to it, only the drive-thru was open. Oh, they tried crap. to just walk up to the window, but to yeah, no avail. Yeah, of course they're not going to They be, didn't have enough characteristics to pass as a car. Yeah. So they had to turn to the only option they had, call an yeah. Uber to go through the drive-thru. Are you in. serious? It worked. Oh, <laughs> so basically all goodness. of us had Taco Bell for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, dear. We were living like kings over There's, here. There was in nothing Seattle, else? we got to the theater, and, and Matt reserved another room for us to shower in at the hotel next to the venue. I wanted okay. to wash my face, and Ross wanted to freshen up, so yeah. as we were walking out to go to the room, Matt grabbed us and said, Okay. Look. When what? you walk in, mm -hmm. don't talk to the concierge or anything. Don't even look at anyone. What? Just go straight to the elevator and head up to the room. What? So we're like, okay. We walked in and did exactly what Matt said. Didn't mm -hmm. talk to anyone. Didn't even breathe in anyone's direction. Okay. No oxygen was stolen. Just went over right. to the elevator, That's pressed the button. Mad and then out of nowhere, sketchy. the manager pops out of a mystery door right next to us that what? we didn't even know was a door. And oh my goes, goodness. what room are you going to? Dude, he was like an NPC Why? video game that teleports in front of you to prevent you from going out of bounds. Dear. Ross and I were stunned and just went up 601 and the manager goes, you're not the person who booked that room. I've oh known goodness. every guest in their respective rooms in this oh hotel since Oh my gosh, go away. You're not allowed in there. No visitor policy. What no kind visitor? of hotel has a that no explains, visitor policy? That explains it's why a hotel. he was like that. Visitors... Yeah, it's that's why you go business. to a hotel, right? So we went back to Matt and explained what happened. One of the managers at the theater went over to talk to the manager in the hotel because the hotel okay. owns the venue. But the thing oh, that really? was really annoying to us was that we were the ones who were performing at the venue, right. which directly affects the amount of rooms they sell. I, I should give them exactly. some slack, though. To their credit, they did tell us they'd let one more of us go into the room if we paid a fee of $80. So, what? Not to name drop or no. anything, but would no. I recommend you stay at the hotel next to the Moore Theater? theater in seattle don't no but the right. theater was really nice to us and the seattle audience is great before That's each great. show we had a vip q a section okay. so when we finished that we have like an hour before the actual show and mm -hmm. during that one in between hour there's a mewtwo raid in pokemon go which doesn't happen too often. Oh, they're so all like already freaking know that out. Dom, Ross, James, and I were frothing at the mouth. We, oh my to, god, to we go? gotta get that Mewtwo. After the Q&A, we mm -hmm. all got up calmly, walked off stage, and when we were out of sight, literally bolted out the back door oh of my the venue goodness. and ran down the street to a Mewtwo raid. By that the time is hilarious. we finished it, there was a crowd of like 30 people also catching Mewtwo. Oh, that Not is hilarious. Watch our videos. Just normal people who all Regular just wanted people. a taste of the Neutron style. We all mm. caught a Mewtwo and actually had time to get another before the show starts. That's so good. there was a march of 30 people just playing Pokemon <laughs> Go, working together that is hilarious. to get Mewtwo. I didn't know people were it was the most beautiful still going thing this I've hard been a part of. at Pokemon also, Go. James caught a shiny three-star totally all by himself. Ross Aww. definitely didn't need to help him. And made us all jealous. 
The tour oh. was so fun. I couldn't That's have good. chosen a better group of friends to travel to a show good. with. The team that helped us was amazing, and the shows mm-hmm. were so fun to perform. Every city had an amazing audience, especially the That's ones great. where I won. And it uh. was a really <laughs> surreal experience. Um, especially the ones I really want to thank you for helping me get to this point, and I still can't believe I get to do this crazy, awesome stuff. I know, this is pretty cool. Oh, it looks like they're going to go to more places. Yeah, they. Oh, they're coming to Florida! Because last time they didn't come to Florida. That's why I was like looking for it. <laughs> like, I'm gonna buy tickets right now. Because my, oh, listen, listen, truth be told, let's just be honest right now. Okay, let's just be honest. Creators can be fans of other creators, okay? Let's just tell you that. Uh, my family's outside, so I'm, as soon as I'm done, I see Orlando on October 14th, baby. October 14th. I'm gonna go outside after this video. Talk to my family and be like, yo, we gotta buy these tickets, bruh. Gotta buy these tickets. And um, head up there. You know what? I need to actually I need to look at something because there's an event in Atlanta I wanna go to. And I'm not sure if it's September or October. If it's September, then I'll go to the Orlando show. If it's in October, I'll go to the Atlanta show if it's around the same time, you know? Kill two birds, birds with one stone, you know? I'm freaking excited. I would love to like go to one of the shows and meet them you know it'll be pretty cool to say hey i, I watch your videos <laughs> okay I, I i will do that I'm like hey my name my name's like christine i watch your videos can you can you sign my book please i i will do that and me laughing is not me making fun of people who do that i'm just laughing because i know that i'm gonna y'all have seen my um uh, with that video when I got starstruck. So I know that I'm gonna be like nervous as freaking heck, bruh. And I'm gonna be like going up and I'm gonna be like, what am I gonna say? I'm gonna pre think, I'm not gonna lie here, I'm gonna pre think what I'm gonna say and, you know, like wonder about how I'm gonna come off and try to like pay attention to all those things when I go to this show. So all that's gonna be in mind. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I think it's pretty awesome that they did this tour, and I think it's really cool. It's always something I've wanted to do, so it's cool to see somebody else and experience the ex- or, or sh- have somebody share their experiences that they went through at that time. And I think it's super freaking awesome they're going to do a bigger tour with more stops in October. I'm here for it, and I'm really freaking excited. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think of the video? What do you think of their experience? It sucks that they caught food poisoning from that one place, and but but Odd Ones Out seemed to be okay, which I think that's, you know, it's good for him. He's got a tightened tummy, and everybody else kind of got sick, which sucks. And it sucks that you can't poop on the bus, and he had to hold that in, which I get, though, because I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to sit on a bus if somebody pooped. Because that ish will circulate throughout the whole entire freaking bus. And go smell great. Wait, let me know your thoughts down below. If you like the video, check out the link in the description box below to support Jaden and everyone else. If you like this video, hug the like and that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.